I say that barns are the next purest scenery to the mountains. I mean, we like our mountains and that's pure, but the barns are that history of what happened here in the early days. John Porter grew up on a dairy farm, became a dairy specialist at University of New Hampshire, and now sits on the state's barn committee, trying to save what's left of these local treasures. I've heard statistics of losing a barn a day in New Hampshire. Porter is co-author of Preserving Old Barns, Preventing the Loss of a Valuable Resource. Yes, they are endangered species, and that's why this New Hampshire Barn Committee got started, was to try to help people preserve their barns and make them aware of barns. No surprise, New England has some of the oldest barns in the country, but the landscape around them has changed dramatically. And that means you never know where you're gonna run into an old barn. The inner city included. We're in beautiful, sunny Mattapan, <laughs> where everybody should be right now. <laughs> the Fowler Clark Epstein Farm on Norfolk Street, right in the heart of Mattapan. It was a 330-acre farm 200 years ago, and now it is the headquarters for the Urban Farming Institute. In season, the farm is a hive of garden activity, training, and farmer's markets, but the off-season is active as well, in the barn. The technique is I'm just gonna roll it like a snail almost. When Asha Dershi, a professional chef, got laid off in the pandemic, she joined the Urban Farming Institute to teach classes on healthy eating. She also became a student of how to grow the food she's been cooking all these years. It feels good, it really does something to you. It really connects you in a different way and also just brings about this childlike wonder and really just being able to be surprised and kind of astounded by the beauty of nature. Up the street a bit in Dorchester, another urban anomaly. From the mid-1800s, Earl Taylor welcomes us in. This is the Clapp family farm in Dorchester currently serves as the headquarters of the Dorchester Historical Society. What makes this old barn unique? It's loaded with all its old farm tools. And then when we show them the barn, they say, wow, you never knew this was here. What a great thing. Saving the Clapp family barn didn't come cheap. Restoration cost about $300,000, a sign of the growing value we're putting on the preservation of these historic treasures. I think people think twice now about taking them down because it's getting so, if you start taking one down, somebody might come around and ask you, why are you doing that? Because I think we are getting that appreciation level up a little bit. That's been our goal. And back to Fowler Clark Epstein Farm. It's owned by Preservation Group Historic Boston. And they bought it in 2015, spearheaded the reservation, renovation rather, and um, they say the Urban Farming Institute has been a perfect tenant. Really